What's going on, everybody? Josh Engelman for AwesomeO.com, and I am back with my NFL DFS contenders on FanDuel for tonight's Sunday night football game between the Rams and the Bears. Now be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you know when everything goes live. Then head on over to Twitter and follow me, at Josh Engelman. Only place you're going to get updates for my sim results as we get closer to lock. Let me know in the comment section underneath this video, who's your favorite and least favorite of my contenders? And finally, shout out to No House Advantage for being the presenting sponsor of this show. Check out the banner over here. Nice. I pointed the right direction for once. It's good to see. Use that promo code when signing up. It's going to help you out a ton. Rounding out the bottom of my top 10, Matt Gay, Darnell Mooney, Sony Michelle, Daryl Henderson, and Cooper Cup on the outside looking in. Who will be my favorites? My top five plays for today. It's time to find out. First one up, we've got Allen Robinson. He's 11,500, projected for 11.5 fantasy points. Difficult matchup here. There are 7.5 point dogs with a 46.5 point total. Now, that looks pretty good. You expect the Bears to have to throw if they're behind. The problem is, PFF has the Bears offense 22nd. They have the Rams defense first. Not ideal. Almost a 7% chance that Robinson goes for north of 25 fantasy points. He's got a 9% chance of being the optimal MVP and a 36% chance of just simply being in the optimal at the flex spot. As you can see, based on the rankings, 3, 4, 5, and 6, all super similar. Then we start to get to a different tier. But for right now, Allen Robinson is broken into my top five at number five. Next up at number four, we're staying with the Bears. 13K David Montgomery, projected for 13. Obviously the same matchup, same difficulty from a defensive standpoint. 9% chance of being the optimal MVP. 37% at flex. So you're seeing, there's not, there's not a lot separating Montgomery from Robinson or these two guys from Cup or these three guys from the person coming in number three. You're likely going to need two of the four in this group and probably three of the four in this group to fill out your lineup, generally speaking. They're going to be the more popular plays. If you think the Bears can keep this closer, then the David Montgomery narrative will work well for you. He'll get a couple extra carries. He can be involved a little bit longer. If you think the Rams are going to smash, then it's going to go a little bit different of a direction for David Montgomery. But for right now, if you think that it can be close, and seven and a half is not an ideal number, but if it can be close throughout the first three quarters, then it's probably not going to matter all that much. I really like the idea of getting to David Montgomery. I think he's an excellent value at 13K. Topping off the skill position players, that would be Robert Woods, $12,000, projected for 12 fantasy points, gets the great matchup. They should be out in front regularly, seven and a half point favorites, 11th ranked defense for PFF, so it's not as if the Bears are bad on that side of the ball. 9% chance that Woods can go for north of 25 fantasy points. 11% chance that he can be the optimal MVP. You get to the grand total of 47% in all optimal lineups, but this is the group of four. You can clearly see above Henderson, that Woods, Montgomery, Robert uh, Robinson, and Cup group, it's different. We're in a different tier. We've got two guys at the top. We know who they are on FanDuel. Uh, it's really hard for a quarterback to not be in the MVP spot, and we're about to see that. But we see these tiers separating down the list, so make sure you're aware of that when structuring your lineups. At number two, we go to Andy Dalton, 13,500, projected for just 15 fantasy points. Very difficult matchup against the Rams, but Dalton's seen it before. He's not getting thrown into any sort of crazy fires. 10% chance of going for north of 25 fantasy points, which you're certainly going to need if he's showing up in the optimal at MVP. There's a 16% chance that he is the optimal MVP for today, plus 44% at utility. So you can get Andy Dalton in an optimal 60% of the time. I'm happy to go here. I'm always happy to try to grab a quarterback on FanDuel. It's very difficult to avoid these guys, just generally speaking, because raw points matter so much. There's not a change in salary as you get the multiplier. So raw points just tend to be the biggest factor. And usually the quarterback is going to be the more likely raw point scorer. So I'm happy to get to Andy Dalton, but he's not the number one guy. Now, before we get to that number one contender, one last reminder to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you know when everything goes live. Then head to Twitter, follow me, at Josh Engelman. Only place you get updates to these sims as we get closer to lock. In the comments section, I want to know who you like and don't like in this video. Who are you getting to more? Who are you getting to less? That's what I want to know. And finally, I'd be remiss to not say it again, shout out to No House Advantage right there. Thanks for the banner. Thanks for the promo code. Great place to play, and you guys should go check them out.
We close it out with Matthew Stafford at the number one spot. He is 16K, so you're paying the full freight. Projected for 18 and a half. He's got the solid matchup against the Bears. Big favorite, so you expect him to be able to at least throw quite a bit early. 20%, just shy of 20% chance of going for north of 25 fantasy points. You know what you're getting out of Matt Stafford. You just haven't seen it in this uniform. A 33% chance of being the optimal MVP. 35% chance of being optimal utility, 68% overall. Now, I'm sure you guys hear 33% for MVP and wonder, why isn't he in the flex spot more? It's because he's 16K. If you're not getting that multiplier, you're probably going to find a, a more efficient mechanism of filling out the rest of your lineup. It's not as easy to pay all the way up for quarterback in the flex spot on FanDuel. That's why you see that number be a little bit lower. So unquestionably, you want to get to Stafford and you want to get to Dalton, but Stafford in the MV MVP... That's as good as it's going to get. Alrighty, folks, that will do it. Those are my NFL DFS contenders on FanDuel. For tonight's Sunday night football game between the Rams and the Bears, we've got NFL Live Before Lock coming up tonight. I will be back again tomorrow with another edition of the Contenders for Monday Night Football. Good luck tonight, everybody. Enjoy yourself and go win some money.